The production of combine harvesters in Poland is carried out by CNH Polska with its seat in Plock, which produces New Holland combine harvesters. The plant in Plock produces most of the elements necessary to assemble the combine. The components of the combine are made of the load-bearing frame, the thresher housing, the grain tank, the conveyor housings, and the frame of the header, commonly known as the header. All steel parts are manufactured on site. Shapes of the structural elements of the combine harvester are cut out of the metal sheets. Parts of various sizes are produced here. From small as a matchbox to 3 meters long side covers. The laser beam cuts according to a programmable pattern on a computer-controlled machine. At the same time, holes of any shape and size are made. The element cut with this laser is devoid of the so-called burrs that affect the quality of the cut element, so it did not have to be processed later. Another operation accompanying the processing is bending of the elements. For this purpose a special bending machine is used, which gives shape in a simple way. Appropriate bends are created in the steel elements for selected elements of the spatial distribution with the use of a press brake. The press is also computer programmed and works with sufficient pressure and depth. Its maximum load is 230 tons. The next stages are welding and painting. Welding of large components takes place on the so-called gardeners. These are positions that allow the rotation of the components installed in them. This facilitates the work and shortens the time of making the elements. At the same time, other parts of the combine are being created. Shutter screens are welded with the help of a computer-controlled electrode welding machine. They are used to separate the grain from the chaff and impurities and the sieves can be opened to the desired width to allow grains of a given size to pass through them. The elements of the screens, called wings, are welded with the axes on which they were previously planted. All previously welded elements must be properly prepared before assembly. Then, random elements are subjected to detailed technical inspections to confirm that the special design is correct. They are transported by technological trolleys to the tail lifts. Then they are hung using the appropriate traverse holder. Then they are transported by an overhead convoy RM chain to the aggregate to prepare the surface before painting, where everything is covered with a primer paint. The actual painting is done by spraying and is divided into two operations. First the metal is covered with paint using the principles of electrostatics, and then the same element is used a second time, conventionally, to increase the aesthetic value. A cover is slid over the rear part of the machine, its outlet task is to direct the straw and debris outlet downwards. The assembly of combines begins with the connection of the chassis frame with a grain pan, it is a complete module that cleans the grain from chaff and dirt. Waste is discharged at the rear of the combine and grains are transported to the hopper.
The heart of the combine is the motor. New Holland machines use diesel engines. In this model of the combine, an engine with a capacity of 6 and 70 liters will work, with a capacity of 207 horsepower. The key parameter, however, is the torque of 691 newton meters, which is achievable at 2100 revolutions per minute. Next, a set of power plants and straw walkers is installed in which the grain is separated from the straw. At the next station, a grain tank with a capacity of 6,000 liters is placed on the combine and it is screwed to the frame. The complete operator's cabin, assembled at the factory in Plot, is placed on the combine. An unloading tube is screwed to the grain tank. Its task is to empty the grain tank inside which there is a sensor signaling its filling with an external flash lamp and a control lamp inside the cabin. Side covers are screwed on both sides of the combine and they rotate on hinges to allow the operator easy access to the engine and drive units. At the front there is an inclined conveyor which transports the cut grain to the threshing machine. The finished combine leaves the production line and arrives at the test stand. All hydraulic systems of the ventilation and air conditioning systems are checked here. Testing and adjustment of one combine takes about an hour. Depending on the customer's order, combine harvesters adapted to work in mountain areas are also manufactured in plot. They are equipped with a horizontal hydraulic suspension thanks to which I can easily adapt to the terrain while maintaining all the parameters necessary for the proper operation of the combine.
The factory is constantly developing and has become a key producer in Central Europe. Every day, six combined harvesters are produced and this year it has produced a total of 1,200 units.